for the love of God, please stop begging white people to love you. Recently, the question was asked to black women on TikTok if they were alone in a conference room, who would they rather see walk into the conference room, a white man or a white woman? My answer would be that if I was a white man or a black man, that unless I'm giving that black woman a job promotion, I would be afraid to walk into a conference room alone with her anyhow. I would have to be escorted in there by a witness or someone from upper management. For a white man, a false accusation of racism, and for a black or white man, false accusations of sexual harassment can cost a man his career at best or his freedom at worst. Those kinds of accusations do not go away as easy as they come. But before I really dig into the subject today, I'm going to need you to go ahead and smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll know when I go live or when I upload new content. Also, share this video. Help me get it out into the algorithm. So as I was scrolling through TikTok, I ran across this video with a response to that question. So I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to give you the answer. So it should be easy. We're already starting off on the wrong foot. There's no such thing as two-way communication when the question is loaded. In this case, you do not have a question. You have a statement. So much for the nation's most educated woman. White women walk into a room. Will they choose empathy or will they choose violence? So white woman whispered, did a play on the bear versus man uh, debate. And she said, black women, if you're walking into a conference room, who do you hope is walking in? White woman or white man? You guessed it. Black women chose white men and white women chose violence. Well, there is a reason that black women would have chosen white men because they're collectively in competition for a white woman's place in the white man's household. This is why you see white women getting bullied on social media by black women for wearing braids or showing some love interest in black men. Any other time, these same black women are slamming black men for not living up to their standards. They're always comparing the negative stereotypes of black men to the positive stereotypes of white men. Ever notice how white women never call out black women for cultural appropriation whenever they're wearing wigs, weaves, and contact lenses? So on the scorecard, there's eight sections of the empathy scorecard. There's active listening, understanding perspective, emotional, responsive, emotional responsiveness, emotional recognition, helping behavior, apologizing and forgiving, non-judgmental attitude. And when I tell you in every one of those areas, white women failed. But because a lot of white women don't have empathy, they weren't interested in actively listening, and they damn sure are never interested in understanding our perspective, only theirs. It's amazing how white women will come together and help harm black people, but struggle with coming together to help resolve issues for black people, more specifically black women. So you're going to generalize an entire race of women based on random TikTok users and some bullshit scorecard? Okay, if you're going to conduct a survey, you're going to need the data reflecting demographics. Demographics by age, by income, by education, by life's experiences. I'm really beginning to believe that if this woman has any credentials, that it was gotten from a fly-by-night college at best or a crackerjack box at worst. And asking them to have a non-judgmental attitude is asking them to make water dry and not wet. Because all of that emotional response and violence that they were kicking back at black women was because they were judging us. How dare we not choose womanhood over white men? How dare we choose men they see as their oppressors over them? It sounds to me that this black woman was upset that the white women did not choose the black woman over the white man. And why would they for the sake of sisterhood? When are you radical black feminists are going to start connecting the dots that the only reason that the white liberal woman turned you against black men was to destroy your communities? Did you see Hillary Clinton divorcing Bill Clinton after he embarrassed her in front of the entire world? These white liberal feminists sold you the idea of separating from your men. All the while, they stayed with their men. Now you're sitting here with egg on your faces as you get online and find yourselves rejected by the same men that you belittled to gain favor from that white liberal woman. Unlike a sorry lot of you, those white women know where their bread is buttered. They only showed you empathy when they were turning you against the men in your community. Everything that could possibly go wrong in the black community is not a result of slavery. It is the result of slave-minded beliefs sold to the community by the white liberal. How in the hell are you going to try to get on the World Wide Web and champion for black women when you're dolling yourself up to look like the white women that you obviously have a problem with. These radical white feminists sold you a dream. And the sky was made of amethyst. That you can share the same power that they have over white men as they do. And all the stars look like little fish. All you had to do was turn your back on black men and make them your enemy. You should learn where to go. When never in American history has the black man ever been in a position to oppress you. You should learn how to say no.
I notice a lot of projecting from radical black feminists whenever they don't get their way. They go accusing black men of doing the same things that they're guilty of, such as wanting to be accepted by white people. We'll take the lady in this video, for instance. This is something that she's obviously guilty of by looking at her appearance to her pathetic pleas that she wants to be accepted by white people. Just take a look at the foundation that has to be contoured and mimicked to be of a European beauty standard, modified by contact lenses. If you really want to know why some of these black men are choosing to be with white women, then look no further than your reflection. In black America, we're taught by black people that European beauty standards are superior. Look at how much money that black women spend to mimic the beauty standards of white women. Look at some of the phrases that we use when we're bragging about what makes us unique as melanated people. Good hair versus bad hair. Pretty light colored eyes if they're natural. And if they're not natural, like contact lenses, we will compliment each other on having different eye colors. Look at the jokes that black people crack on other black people about the sizes of their lips, the shapes of their noses, and the pigmentation of their dark skin. We act as if we don't even see white women who are going to spend money to have those same lip sizes or aging early because of the sacrifices that they make in the tanning bed or in the sun. If you're a light skinned black woman with blue eyes and a blonde wig, then why in the hell would a black man would just not go for the real thing instead of the carbon copy because at that moment in time you're just a carbon copy of a white woman with a tan the only difference is with a white woman her hair grows naturally from her scalp and her eye color doesn't go into a contact lens case and while she's accusing white women of lacking empathy she should know that black women collectively practice the same lack of empathy how many times have you seen a black man on social media with a bleeding heart and he's attacked by black women who lacked empathy we all know that one question that black women are known to ask when they see a man hurting. And they ask that question with malicious intentions to taunt him. Who hurt you? You need to stop worrying about what that white man got going on with that white woman to worry about what you don't have going on with black men. When that white liberal feminist came to you with her game plan, she left you alone. When these white women go after these professional black athletes, they rescue them from the mess that the white feminist liberal made of you. I'm Ricky Manor of the Melanated Rebel News Network. Please be sure to smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, share this video so we can get this truth out in the algorithm. And most importantly, leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know your thoughts. And if you're watching us on TikTok, be sure to follow me on my YouTube channel.